allow yourself again just to settle in and get comfortable. And gently close your eyes. And now begin to become aware of your breath. Breathe slowly, deeply, and deliberately. With each breath, allow yourself to become more deeply relaxed and open and receptive. Just be. And with each and every breath now, allow yourself to relax even more and receive just a little bit more. And if you ever find yourself distracted by thoughts or feelings or physical sensations, just return your mind to the breath and breathe deeply. Allow yourself now to get into a peaceful, unguarded, and undefended place. Feel your entire body relax now in this undefended space of peace and ease that you are affording yourself now. As you breathe in and out more deeply and deliberately, feel the various parts of your body that this now free breath touches and replenishes and supports and supplies. Feel how important it is to your physical being and to your well being for you to relax and receive while you are totally undefended and unguarded with yourself. Feel what that feels like to be unguarded and undefended. You can relax now. The inner battle is subsiding and peace is beginning to reign. Now from this more relaxed, peaceful and centered place, you can stop performing or beating yourself up or in general, acting not like yourself. You can just be. And now notice your being is peaceful or full of peace, relaxed. And you feel a sense of indwelling peace and recognition of your perfection as you continue to breathe deep and deliberately. Now from the state of ultimate recognition of who you are, allow your next thought to be entirely present and loving and whole. I love myself now. I feel entirely relaxed and whole and free. I feel carefree and full of delight. And from this state of fullness and true receptivity, with deep awareness of your divinity and acknowledgement of your innate inner perfection, you are present here and now and ready to forgive, truly forgive. You are ready to enjoy the experience of true, deep, inborn forgiveness. Now think of someone you do not like, someone who irritates you or who would cause you to feel anxious or uncomfortable if you should meet them someone you actively despise or merely try to overlook. It doesn't matter what the form your anger takes. You've probably chosen this person already. This one who comes first to your mind will do. Now see them in your mind and look at him or her for a while. Try to perceive some light in them somewhere. A little gleam which you had never noticed before. 
try to find some little spark of brightness shining through the ugly picture that you hold of them. Look at this picture till you see a light somewhere within it. And then try to let this light extend until it covers him or her completely and begins to make the picture beautiful and good. Look at this changed perception for a while. Now turn your mind to one you call a friend. Try to transfer the light you learned to see around your former enemy to this one, to this friend. Perceive them now as more than just a friend to you. For in this light, their wholeness, their holiness, shows you one who you could easily call your savior, saved and saving, healed and whole. Then let them now in your mind's eye offer you the light you see in them. Now let both your enemy, in quotes, and your friend unite in blessing you with what you gave to them. Now you are one with them and they with you. Now have you been forgiven by yourself. Do not forget the role forgiveness plays in bringing happiness to every unforgiving mind with yours among them. And from this place of peace and ease and greater recognition, tell yourself this impactful truth from A Course in Miracles. Forgiveness is the key to happiness. I will awaken from the dream that I am mortal, fallible, and full of sin, and know that I am the perfect Son of God. So now just take a few more nice, big, deep breaths, bringing in that experience of forgiveness, not just for anyone else you might have any grievances with, but for yourself. Recognize that that's an experience of tangible oneness, which is the whole point of the meditation. So begin to breathe more deeply now as you begin to slowly and deliberately come back into the room that you're in feeling all that peace and ease and bringing that with you, bringing that state of mind, that state of awareness with you as we gather tonight for the art of mystical forgiveness.